What's up and welcome to Osaka, Japan. My name's Luke Martin with ChopstickTravel.com and today is day three of our food tour here in Osaka. So this is just an amazing city packed with so much delicious food. Today we are at the Suruhashi Market, which is also known as the Korean Market. We are waiting for a restaurant that sells tuna sashimi to open up for breakfast today. We actually had to go early and get a ticket, so we are number two in line and they will be opening soon so we're just going to explore this market while we wait. Alright guys so we were just walking around the market and we spotted a girl making yaki mochi which is grilled mochi and she has them on these sticks here and she dipped it in this sweet dark sauce and wrapped it in seaweed as well so we're standing street side we wanted to try this out it smelled really good so let's give it a try mm. oh wow extremely sweet and extremely salty at the same time that tastes amazing my turn to try it mm. Oh, yeah, so Sabrina was right. It's a little bit sweet and savory at the same time. And it's very kind of creamy opposed to chewy because it's so hot that that uh, pounded rice cake mochi is kind of like liquidy and really creamy. And I like it with the piece of nori on the outside. It gives it kind of a crunch. And it's also very smoky because she grilled it kind of to a crisp. Check that out. Oh man, that's really yummy. Finished off with our little snack. It is now 10.30 and the restaurant we were waiting for to open up has opened up. We've got our ticket, so we're heading there now. Okay, we're sitting down this really cool restaurant, which is just a tiny little uh, bar counter side, and they specialize in everything tuna, so especially tuna sashimi, and we were just given a service bowl of sashimi, so we've got some pieces, and it looks marinated, and also uh, lots of sesame seeds, so let's try this. Mm -hmm. It almost has a little bit of a sweetness in the marinade, and it's really soft. Well, oh, that's really, really good. And this is just an appetizer for what's to come. Our sashimi bowl has arrived and check this thing out. It is a thing of beauty. We ordered two different kinds. We ordered one, which is the marinated with sesame seeds, this kind here. And then we also ordered the regular akami, which is the lean cut of tuna unmarinated. Oh yeah, check that out. Let's try to get some rice and a piece. Let's try that. Mm. Oh man, that is so rich and flavorful. There must be some sesame oil drizzled on top because it's just really like rich uh, sesame flavor. And it's definitely marinated with a little bit of sweet soy sauce too because it's got a sweetness to it. Let's try this, um, this yellow wasabi over here. Just get a little piece of that, the piece of tuna. Let's try that. Mm. Oh wow, it's actually not as spicy but it really has the wasabi flavor to it. Oh man, this is so enjoyable and this is gonna be certainly a hearty bowl of tuna. So, so far this is absolutely delicious. I have the lean tuna kind and I'll give it a try. Mm. So delicious, just very natural tuna flavors. Finish off with our huge towering bowl of tuna sashimi. That was certainly the most tuna I've ever eaten in one sitting. And I am absolutely stuffed. We couldn't even finish our whole bowl of rice and everything. So I definitely recommend that place though. It is definitely worth the money because the quality of that sashimi was really, really good. And you get a ton of it. And the owners are extremely friendly, super cool place. So I think, I'm not sure, we are so stuffed right now. We were planning on going to another place, but we might have to go home and relax a little bit and let our tummies uh, get hungry again. And then we'll head back out tonight to do a little bit more eating.
We are back out in Osaka today. It is still raining here, but we have come to the center of all the action here in Osaka, one of the tourist hotspots that is Danpanbori. So this is sort of like the entertainment district, but there's also a ton of good restaurants. And we are going to have something called takoyaki. So let's go find the spot that's selling it. <laughs> We have our takoyaki and what it is is something that is extremely famous here in Osaka and it's sort of like a octopus batter ball. So first they fill this special kind of skillet filled with batter and then they put a big chunk of octopus in the middle of the batter and then form that batter into a ball very skillfully and it's really kind of mesmerizing to watch them make it. And then this kind is topped with all different sorts of things. So we've got some brown sauce and also a mayonnaise and tons of green onions and also these bonito flakes which kind of look like they're moving or they're alive but they're actually just little uh, thin slices of dried fish. So let's try one of these out. You can see it's almost just like a little bag because it's barely cooked uh, on the inside, just on the outside crispy, but then the whole inside is like liquid and there's a chunk of octopus. So uh, let's try one of these out. I hope I don't burn myself. Mm. Mm. So the batter, as I mentioned, is very undercooked on the inside. It's still really creamy and there's a nice firm chunk of sort of chewy octopus on the inside. I really love the octopus. It's kind of tangy from the mayonnaise and the sauce that they put on the top and a little hint of green onion. Those are super addicting. I love how they're just completely undercooked on the inside because you can tell, look at that. That is super just creamy on the inside. And let's see here, I can pull up the piece of octopus in this one, if I can find it. Oh, there it is. So a big chunk of octopus. Let's try this one. Mm. Mm. We're gonna finish these off, but this certainly isn't enough today. We're gonna go eat some more right after this. So for our next spot today, we have come to Kyobashi Station here in Osaka, and we are heading to a very famous izakaya called Toyo-san, or I think the name of the chef is Toyo-san. So we're gonna head to that izakaya right now. It's still uh, early afternoon, but they just opened up, and this is gonna be a really cool spot I've been waiting to go for a long time. Whoa! Okay, we are at the izakaya now. It is totally standing only, absolutely packed out. And we ordered a few different dishes and the first one has arrived and it looks really awesome. So this place specializes in seafood. So check out the dish we've got here. So this is kind of a mixture of all different things. There is some scallops in there. There is some kind of shredded crab and then tons of chives. And I'm not exactly sure how it's cooked. Um, it might be just quickly stir fried. So I'm gonna go in for some of the crab, some of the chives and a scallop all together. Let's try that. 
Mm. Oh, that is really good. That is a perfect way to start this meal off. Tons of crisp green onions, and I think it might be just like served cold. I'm not sure if those are raw, but those scallops are extremely soft. And also there's tons of that shredded uh, crab in there. And there's a little bit of soy sauce in the bottom, maybe some lemon or lime juice. And the crab, the shredded crab, soaks up that lime juice so well. Just check this out. This is a thing of beauty here. Oh yeah. So good. I can't get over really how cool this place is. There is not very many places in Japan that are literally right on the side of the road like this place. And it is a party in here. It's only 3 p.m. And also it's really cool. You serve yourself beer. So you just go over and grab it and they will count up the bottles at the end of the night or whenever you finish and yeah, charge you accordingly. Our first plate has arrived other than our appetizer and I'm already being blown away by this. This is gonna be one of the most incredible seafood platters I have ever ordered in my life. So let me introduce everything we have here to you guys. So we have a trio of three amazing looking seafood. So first up we have the tuna. We ordered chutoro, which is the medium fatty. Next up we have a overflowing rolls of tons of uni, sea urchin. And that is just gonna be one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. I think there's some sushi rolls underneath there, but I can't even really tell. Over here, uh, it's really, really crazy in here. There is a lot going on in a party. But over here, we have our third uh, seafood, and this is the salmon roe. Again, topped on top of some sushi rolls with, I think, cucumber as well. But that is just absolutely overflowing as well, and everything here is so beautiful looking. Let's dig into this. First, I'm gonna start with the salmon roe. So let me grab these here. And yeah, you can see there is a little piece of uh, sushi underneath there or a little roll of rice. And let's try that. Mm. Oh yeah, wow. That is salty. Crunch from that cucumber. And that those eggs just kind of pop in your mouth. Oh, those are good quality. Second, we're going to try the uni, the sea urchin, which admittedly is not my favorite, but it is an acquired taste. So let me try to grab this without uh, destroying it too much here. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh yeah. Those are sticking together pretty good. Oh, I'm losing my uni. Okay, let's try it like that. Mmm. Oh, oh. Oh, that is really good actually. Oh, ma'am. That might be the best uni I've ever had. Wow. Describing uni as creamy is such an understatement. It is so, so smooth and it's really rich. Sometimes it's salty, but this time it's not so salty. And sometimes you kind of get a little bit of a metallic taste, which I can taste a little bit here, but not as much as some of the ones I've had before. That is some seriously fresh uh, uni sea urchin. Third and final for this plate is the chutoro uh, medium fatty tuna. I'm going to put a little bit of wasabi on this and also uh, dip it in some soy sauce here. Oh, <laughs> oh ma'am. Wow. Instantly melts in your mouth. Wow, that's incredible. The reason you come to this izakaya is for this dish here. This is their most famous, most popular dish, and seriously one of the most interesting things I've ever seen prepared. So this is broiled tuna. So he is blow torching this with a flamethrower, you could say. And he is cooking these massive chunks of tuna and then tops them with chives. And he is grabbing them with his bare hand and dunking his hand in cold water and flipping these. It is one of the most incredible feats of cooking I have ever seen in my life. And it smells so good, so smoky. There's smoke filling the entire izakaya, well, pouring it onto the street, I guess I should say. But let's try this. I've been waiting so long to try this dish. Oh. oh my gosh. Wow. It's like beef. It's like the Kobe beef we ate the other day. It is ridiculously tender, so ridiculously smoky too, and really nice with those chives. They give it kind of a fresh touch, but wow, you can taste just like pure smoke, and that is big chunks of tuna cheek. Wow, incredible. Okay, what? Look at this cut of sashimi. 
Now typically you will not ever see cuts like this if you're at a sushi restaurant, but this is an izakaya, so you gotta eat big portions while you're here. And that means big portions of sashimi as well, so it's heavy. I'm gonna go in for a bite of this, it's gonna be so good. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. I think we have you some question. Please <laughs> no. question free. Oh, uh, how old are you? Oh, my, I'm uh, 65 years old. 65 years yeah. old. Yeah. How old is this Isakaya? Oh, he's uh, 20. 20. Just watch the chef prepare the tuna cheek, grilling it with the massive flamethrower. And I'm not even joking, he burnt the hairs right off the knuckles of my hand. That was absolutely incredible, and it smells so good. And the chef is really, really friendly. Oh, sorry, she's English, okay? English, okay. Uh, can I take you a picture? Can we take a picture? Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, you see, delicious! <laughs> awesome! Okay! Thank you so okay. much! Okay. Oh, okay. Cute! <laughs> yeah! Kawaii! Kawaii! Finished off with our full day of eating here in Osaka, and what a great way to end our trip in Osaka at that amazing izakaya. The owner is called Toyo-san, and he is absolutely friendly, as you just saw. Um, so many cool things happen. He lit his cigarette with a flamethrower. And that is not a blowtorch, that is a flamethrower. As you can see, I burnt all the hairs off my knuckle and some off my hand, just because I was getting a little too close with the camera. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. The food too, like, not to mention how amazing he was and how interesting it is the way he's cooking it, but the food was absolutely delicious, especially the blow-torched uh, tuna cheek. So cool, and we had such an amazing time. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't seen our previous videos from Japan, make sure to check those out and hit the like button and leave us a comment down below. What did you think of uh, Toyo-san and how do you think his English was? Because he was really concerned about how good his English was, but he was such a friendly guy. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys subscribe and we will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.